Hi, welcome to Quiltinator.com. I'm Michelle Johnson. I'm always telling you, pull up that bobbin thread. You don't want a nasty nest on the back of your quilt. I don't like it. I know you don't like it. You don't have to rip stuff out. So what do you do with all of these that kind of get in your way? You can just tie it off and then trim it flush and you're good to go. I happen to really use my washing machine a lot with my quilts and I know you're not supposed to do that but I live a normal everyday life and I don't have time to just go soak this in a tub or um, the bathtub or whatever how you're supposed to actually wash your quilts. Now I'm sure if it was an heirloom quilt or something my great grandmother made I would probably treat them differently but since it's something I made and it's meant for everyday use, I'm just gonna throw it in my washing machine. So that's why I found, or I think that burying your threads is the preferred way. So, I'm gonna show you how I go around and bury these when I'm at the machine. So this stays out of your way whenever you're starting a quilt, or say you get a thread shred from your top thread or your bobbin breaks, your bobbin thread breaks, or you run out of bobbin. Well, then you're going to actually have to pick and pick back out till you have a thread long enough to tie off and cut or tie off and bury. And you don't need them this long for sure. This is just how this happened to be today. So I'm going to show you real quick what I do when I'm at the machine and I need to bury my thread. I have both threads and I have put a knot, I have knotted it and hopefully you can see that little knot. But then all you do is you go in with your needle and both threads are on there and you can do this with one thread at a time because I do it often because I can't always see the needle. But you just take it and put it in about where you're going to put the tip of your needle in about where that knot is. And then in between the quilt, you're going to make sure you don't go all the way through. You're going to go in between the layers where the batting is. And you're going to just half an inch, inch away, it doesn't matter. If you want to go farther, you can. Then you pull and you pop that little knot in. And so now all I have to do is take these threads and pull and then clip. That Now you can't even see where that knot was. You can't feel it on top. And it's buried in and it's not going to come out when you wash it. Remember, cutting your threads off flush, just doing the quick tack where you do two or three stitches in one spot and then cutting your threads off and going on, or if you bury your threads, that's a personal choice. And it's up to you and your lifestyle and what works for you. This doesn't work for everybody. And you need to find out what works for you. I'm Michelle Johnson. This is Quiltinator.com, and I am getting back to quilting.